Hey there, rock and roll junkies. Charlie here with another Grey Wolf first impression. This series where I listen to an album for the first time and get my thoughts, opinions, and impressions on it after just one listen. And as you can see, this episode is Rise Against with their new album, Wolves, a title that I really do like. But let me just say before getting into this that this album I wasn't that excited for. I wasn't very hyped for this one. Their last album, The Black Market, I don't really remember. I know I like the song Tragedy in Time, but I don't remember that album. So, I wasn't really that excited for this one. Because their albums before, pre The Black Market, were albums that I was really a big fan of and had a just big lasting impression on, and Black Market didn't. So, I wasn't that excited for this one. But I knew it was coming out, so I heard it. And, well, here we are. So let's just get into this track by track. Start off with the first song. Now this album came out June 9th, 2017, as you know. And the first song is the title track, it's Wolves. And I really like how Wolves just starts, just right out of nowhere. Like a left hook from right field, just bam, just goes right into the song. Tim's voice sounds great, the drums sound great, the bass, let me just tell you, the bass on this album is fantastic. Every single song, the bass is great. But the mix on this song could be a little bit better. I feel like Tim's voice is being drowned out by the instruments. And the guitars are really good, but they're just drowning him out just a little bit. Overall, I really enjoyed this song, especially Tim's voice. The screams he does near the end are just fantastic. And I enjoyed this song. I really did enjoy this song. Let's move on to number two, which is House on Fire. Now it has a really cool guitar intro this song. The drums and bass, great. Again, as you know, this sounds like, it's so far, it sounds like a classic, you know, signature Rise Against sound that you'd come to expect from this band. It's, you know, re very, very reminiscent of just the sound from the old albums. I like the backing vocals on this song, and overall, this song is, it's, it's pretty cool. But let's move on to number three, which is the violence. Um, of course, as I said, it's a single that I heard, but I don't remember. It came out in April, and I like the guitars, and Tim sounds great on this one. But at this point in the album, I'm like, these songs all are just okay. A lot of people, you know, I'll say that Rise Against, all their songs sound similar. And I, for a long time, I was like, no they don't. But with this album, I'm kind of feeling that the whole song sounds similar thing. But let's go into number four, which is Welcome to the Breakdown. I love the drum intro, great drums, and this song's real fast, I really dig the chorus. Tim sounds great, again, the screams uh, on this are fantastic. But overall, it's an enjoyable song. But, well, let's get into the next one, Far From Perfect. Well, it has a nice bass, it has like, you know, fast, very punky nature. I like the lyrics of this one. You know how he says, far from perfect, goddamn works of art. I just, I, I love that. Uh, Tim's voice, very raw, very you know, powerful on this one. The song is okay, but as the title suggests, it is far from perfect. This song is far from perfect. And that's something I'm going to touch upon later, so keep that in mind. Let's go on to number six, which is Bullshit. This song has a cool guitar intro. Uh, the bass then kicks in with the drums, sounds great, very energetic, uh, very like punk style chorus. The guitars on this are great again. And I, this is a song I do like. This is a song that I do like more than anything previous to this. This is a song that I feel that with time might grow on me more and I might uh, become one of my favorites of this album. But let's go into number seven, which is Politics of Love. A uh, very melodic bass on this one. I just love the bass on this one overall. The song doesn't really impress me though. Feels a little too repetitive when he goes, uh, should have said something, just says it over and over again. And it just becomes a little monotonous and it kind of. The song's okay, but it didn't do anything to move me. It's like more of the same. So let's go on to number eight parts per million. Uh, high energy song from the very start, uh, but mm, again, mm, well, Tim sounds great on this, of course, but the song really, it just came and went, it did nothing for me, just like the last ones, I feel it's just more of the same, 
Let's go into number nine, Morning in America. Now this song has some nice vocal melodies. It's very loud. I feel this one I could like more with time. This one, you know, it's better than the last few songs. I feel this one really is getting into it. I'm getting into it, it's pretty cool. Let's go into number 10, which is How Many Walls. I like the lyrics on this, great lyrics. Uh, the melody is pretty cool. The guitars sound great, the bass great, drums of course. Uh, he repeats the, you know, he says over and over again, they say that again and again in the song, but that didn't bother me, you know, it's repetitive, but it didn't bother me. I think the song is pretty good, I think it's really good, I, this might be my favorite song on the album, you know. Then we move to number 11, which is Miracle, their song is very melodic, it has this cool, heavy, like, like solo, you know when he says breakdown and they go into a breakdown, I think that's pretty cool, it's a decent song. But, overall, let me just talk about this album, overall. Overall, I was not impressed with this album. I just felt it to be kind of by the numbers, rise against. Like, this album is just okay, it's very like a run of the mill. It didn't impress me, it didn't amaze me, it didn't have this lasting impression on me. I think it was too safe. Might be that I've just been so distant from Rise Against since I haven't really listened to the last album that much. But their early albums really did leave a lasting impression on me. Things like Endgame. I remember when Endgame came out and listening to those singles and waiting for the album to come out and listening to the album and just being in love with that album. And this album didn't do that to me. And I, again, I came in with very, very high expectations and those expectations were just not met with this album. Unfortunately, I don't think any of the songs are bad. I think they're all okay, but they don't go past that. They don't go past. I mean, there's some songs. There's like a couple here, like uh, called "How Many Walls," where they they went a little bit beyond just okay, but they didn't like move it. I said, "Wow, I gotta listen to that again." Like, wow, it's amazing. Like satellites and things like that. I just felt a very okay album. But again, this is a first impression. Not a full-on review. I don't like to do full-on reviews until I have an album for a few months to years. Now I know an album that was released last year that at first, when I first heard it, I didn't like it at all. And then over time, it became one of my favorite albums of that year. So I'm hoping that with time, this album can become one of my favorites. And with that being said, that's all for to this episode of the first impression. Thank you for watching. Comment what you think about this album and if it moved you and if maybe I should listen to it more, I probably will. But that's all for today. Remember to stay metal, stay devil, and stay evil. Alright.